Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting the Warcry Warband, the Dark Oath Savagers from the Red Harvest box set. These chaotic barbarians look pretty badass. I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could come up with a dirty and efficient way of painting them. I'll be using lots of contrast paints for this one. Let's begin, shall we? First a note on the priming. In order to create more interesting shadows with contrast paint, I first primed the models black and next sprayed a zenithal highlight of white over the model from one angle. This really helps in creating more shadows on the model and will help you determine where the highlights are going to be. Let's tackle the skin which for most of these models is the biggest area that needs to be painted. I use Dark Oath Flesh Contrast Paint straight out of the pot. Next I highlight the skin with Kisla Flesh. I look for the brightest parts of the skin. Because of the zenithal highlight this makes it a lot easier. Then I highlight the skin with Flayed One Flesh. I shade the many scars the Savagers have with Kerelberg Crimson. As you can see I only highlighted the top parts of the skin, leaving the dark parts nicely in shadow. With this way of painting I find a feathering motion really helps. It is less edge highlighting and more building up light colors where the light hits the most. The leather the Savagers are wearing is painted using Sigor Brown contrast paint. I highlight it with Steel Legion Drab. Again focusing only on parts that are the brightest. I end with a highlight of Zandri Dust. I'm using lots of brown tints on these models. This will make them look more gritty. Sigor Brown is very dark so you could look for a brighter contrast paint if you want more contrast in the leather. For some variation I'm painting all the loose hanging flaps of leather with Gore Guntra Fur Contrast Paint. I highlight where applicable with Scrag Brown. And highlight again with Deathclaw Brown. The two colors of brown work really well together. I don't want the models to be too dark. Next I'm painting all the straps and belts. I paint all the straps with Wildwood Contrast Paint. And highlight them with Baneblade Brown. Now the difference between Saigor Brown and Wildwood are minimal, but because I'm using different colors for highlighting, there is a nice subtle difference between the straps and the pants. As proper barbarians, the Savagers have a lot of fur. I paint this with Snakebite Leather Contrast Paint. The first highlight is Talaran Sand. And the second highlight is Yusepti Bone. This brownish yellow works really well with the other brown colors. I've also painted all the small ropes and the grips on the weapons with the same color. The metal I'm also painting with a contrast paint. This time I'm using Basiliconum Grey. I highlight the metal with Administratum Grey. 
And I add some blood for the blood god to put gore on all the blades. This non-metallic way of painting metal works surprisingly well with contrast paints. I even painted all the small stone amulets they have around their belts the same way. You could add a highlight of rune fang steel to make it more traditionally metal colored, but I don't think that's really necessary. All the skulls festooning the models are painted with skeleton hort contrast paint. I then highlight them with Husapti Bone. And highlight them again with Screaming Skull. The fancy belt buckles I paint with Flesh Terror Red contrast paint to add a spot color on the model. I highlight with Evil Sun Scarlet on the brightest parts. And add a final highlight of Wild Rider Red. A bright spot color will help to define the rest of the model a little bit more. In addition to the belt buckles, I also painted the God Speaker's robes in the same color as the loose hanging cloth of the Slaughterborn leader. I'm going to paint some different hair colors to vary up the warband. Black hair I paint with Black Templar contrast paint and highlight with Dawnstone. Red hair I paint with Griffhound Orange and highlight with Fire Dragon Bright. Gray hair I paint with Celestra Gray. Shade with Basiliconum Gray. And highlight with Ulthan Gray. Using cork and wood bark, I made a lot of interesting bases for my warband. I first heavily dry brushed these with Mornfang Brown. Then I shade the base with Carolberg Crimson. Next, I dry brushed the base, including any tree stumps I may have glued to the base with Steel Legion Drab. I do the same with Baneblade Brown, making sure I also hit the tree stumps. I shade the tree stumps with Agrax Earthshade. For highlighting, I dry brush some Baneblade Brown back on the tree stump. And I end with a dry brush of Usapti Bone. Finally, I paint the trim of the base with Corvus Black, which is a nice dark gray blackish color. And here we have a savage warband of barbarians straight out of a Robert E. Howard story. Although I thought the warband would be the more plain one in the Red Harvest box, I must say I really, really like them, and they are now my favorite warband I painted so far. I still need to paint the Tarantulas Brood, so I might come back on this opinion later on. For me, this was a more speed painting way of tackling a warband. I do like the results, although I do see some parts that were a bit rushed. Still, it works for the models. I hope this video will help you in painting your creepy barbarians. In the meantime, be sure to also follow me on Instagram, where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.